Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. This is EU4. We're, of course, playing as Russia. And, I mean, things are dicey. I mean, don't get me wrong. We are in a dicey, dicey, dicey position. Uh, mostly due to our war exhaustion and the fact that it's going to spiral out of control rather rapidly. Uh, and the fact that a couple of uh, provinces have been sieged. But... We're not really that worried about things because we've got that veto, the, uh, the Liberian veto, that we are going to be using, um, that we are going to be using as soon as we possibly can. So that's what we're going to do. We also need to declare war on Uzbek uh, in order to finish off this mission, but that's going to be done in good time after we've after we've beaten the Ottomans, basically. Uh, we also have a bunch of cash that we have ready to go um, in order to in order to buy some mercenaries to clear up all of these troops and whatnot, but uh, other than that, it should be fine. Yeah, we are making a lot of money right now, but not not enough to make me super excited. Circassia, doing absolutely great work down there. Uh, I hope that they are just allowed to uh, repay loan. Sure. Karakoya, um, decline. I don't need any more loans right now. I'm actually fine for loans. Uh, just want to watch my war exhaustion tick up and up and up and up and up. Hostile sieges. I didn't even notice that they put hostile sieges in over there. That's kind of cool. Um, again, I'm not super worried about this. I don't really know what's going to happen when we get to 100% war score. But it's fine. Okay, so this dude's moving his troops back. He's moving all of his troops back, actually. We should take advantage of this. We should definitely take advantage of this. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. Let's move into position. We can fight this, and there's no way that he's going to be able to reinforce. So these guys are skedaddling. They actually did They actually did exactly what they said that they were going to do. I mean, they didn't really say that they were going to do it. But they did do it. Okay. Let's get you guys to march into there. Let's get you guys to march into there. I'm going to allow armies to attach. Friendlies can attach. Friendlies should attach. I hope that they decide to do that, but... We are going to be losing a little bit of attrition for the time that we are grouped together. Uh-oh. Shit. 21st of February, 19th of February. We're going to get out of there. Well, we're going to be fighting over here on the 16th, actually, so that's fine. Are we going to make this? No. No, 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 no. Please, no. How can we lose this one? Hey, we didn't. We didn't. We won it. That's a... Uh, that's a good amount of imaginary victory points that just occurred in my head right there. Uh, I, that won't do anything for our war exhaustion, but it does allow us to keep on fighting. A win's a win actually. What's the cap in this province? Yeah, it should be fine. 16th of March. There we go. All right. Okay, so again, we should be okay. Uh, I'm not actually going to consolidate any more regiments. I want to reinforce from here. Uh, we've got the manpower to do it. It's just a matter of doing it, actually. Also, how many cannons do you've got? You've got more cannons than infantry there. That's not a terrible combo. Um, better than all horses, but how also, how have we managed to maintain such prestige throughout this uh, occurrence? I don't quite understand that. Okay, there's a fight going on over here. Circassia is doing some good stuff. Uh, are the, did the Ottomans go to war with someone else? I don't understand. I do not understand whatsoever. Um, what is the length of the war? The length of the war must start to have some sort of an impact. Suggest offer. What would it, what would you give me? 
Cancel subjects Theodoro, release nations Crimea. That's it. I mean, again, it's not terrible. It's just I feel that we can do better. These troops are coming back in. They are losing a bunch of men. So that is relatively nice. Um, we will unseige a couple of provinces here. Look, at the end of the day, the long war, or a long war, should I say, Venice, uh, 45 ducats at 3%. I'll take that, because that's actually lower than our current interest rate, if I'm not mistaken. I think that the base interest rate starts at, uh, at 4. Yeah, interest per annum is at 4%. So if you get anything better than 4%, it's not exactly free money, but it's cheap per money. Um, so that's quite nice. Also, let's have a little look at Stresley progress. Not, not, not great, in all honesty, but it is what it is. We shall prevail. Okay, Circassia's troops did get a little bit beaten. They didn't even take uh, that one province that we were looking for them to take. Let's take a little look at their military. I can't believe that those, that those couple of fights ended up setting us way back in the, uh, in the last episode. It's unfortunate that that happened, but it happened nonetheless. We must make do. Yeah. Where's the two-star general gone? The two-star general kicking around. He's quite a he's quite a threat. Can we integrate you? I, uh, well, we can't obviously start integrating you now because I think that we are. Yeah, we're at war. What about we royal marriage you? Sure, let's royal marriage you right now. Doesn't really matter. We're we're fine for legitimacy. We're almost to the towards the next uh, to the next military tech, so that's relatively nice. Are our advisors good at the moment? No, they're cheap. That's that's lovely. That's what we want. Uh, also, we should probably stop focusing on admin power. I mean, admin power is important. Don't get me wrong, but we've also achieved our goal of um, of hitting of hitting admin tech ten and forming Russia. So. Uh, let us take textile manufacturers, sure. It's something nice to take. We'll also take additional loyalist recruitment. Uh, there's no reason to be taking... Uh, well, I suppose taking Admin Tech 11 would not be terrible. But at the same time, the value is probably more... No, we'll wait. We'll hold off. I don't know if that's like a one-time boost or just a constant perpetual, like always decreasing. If it's like an always decrease, then that would be that would be lovely. Not got any other soldiers anywhere, just making sure they were 100% up to speed. We are going to out-tire. We are definitely going to out-tire the, uh, the Ottomans, that's for sure. Trust me. Okay, so having a little look at this situation, it looks like the Ottomans have taken a 23 stack. They used to have three 23 stacks walking around, whereas they've taken one of those 23 stacks and diverted it somewhere else, which means that there is only a single 23 stack up here, which means if we strike now, then we could win. I'm going to take out a loan. Doesn't put us in grave financial danger quite yet. Get rid of the cav there, and instead train the cav here. Yeah, okay. So this will put us into financial uh, worries. However, it will also provide us with a bunch of mercenaries, and it's been uh, a long time since we since we uh, decided that we or since we actually used mercenaries. In fact, I don't even know if we have ever used mercenaries. Whatever the case. Uh, let's get them all created, let's get them all built, and let's see how much financial hit we take. How much of a financial hit we take. Substantial amount, as it turns out. Okay, good. Yeah, we don't really want you guys to meet down there. I kind of more want you to meet here, yeah. Only we need to make sure that this this enemy doesn't decide to bite off a little bit more than he can chew and become a little bit optimistic. Come here. Yeah, because if he decides to do that, then we might be in a little bit of trouble. But again, man, my allies—the fact that my allies have like 
like little six stacks just like walking around i swear it's 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 fantastic it's really really helping us out okay so there should be a bunch of mercenaries coming over here what's the force limit in novgorod 26 yeah we should probably address that right now so let's detach the mercenary unit let's select the other unit and let's move you out there because that's originally where you were and i just accidentally selected you so sorry about that You're over here. That's fine. I mean, you're a little bit far away from my liking, but... We can manage. So we should now have all of the 20 units, the 20 mercenary units that we said would go over there. Uh, we can... Uh, the Sunni Defectors events happen. Where is this place? Tick. Uh, look, we will reward loyalty with respect. Yeah, sure. That sounds like a great idea. I'm, I'm really not bothered about autonomy right now. That's, you know, as you can probably imagine, one of the things that is not on my list of immediate things to address. It's not an immediate priority. So we've got four cannons. We just all finished being made. Let's go and address that issue. Now, if we could go into this battle with the brand new military tech, that would be great. But unfortunately, that's not going to be able to happen. And we're losing 16,000 gold per second. Uh, and also, the Ottomans have removed all of their troops from my land. This is an opportunity and a half. This is really good for us. No, hold off. You move to there. You move to there, and then you move to there. In fact, wait. Hold off until... What's the force limit in this place? Ah. A little bit annoying. Where's the other unit? Oh, goodness me. You're really holding up the, the procession, my friend. Uh, this guy's probably our best. Yeah, this guy's probably our best, so... We'll get you to lead us into battle. You go there. You go there. You come here. You come here, and then go there, and then go here, and then go there. And you just try and, like, keep up or something, I guess. I don't really know. I don't really know. Uh, I'm going to use this right now uh, to stop all faction progress or reduce all faction progress. Uh, over a certain number because I can honestly admin tech dude there is no one that I actually want so I'm going to say no thank you and kindly refuse anyone's offer still no Ottoman troops well there is a 16k stack over here but I think if we can get to this uh, troop stack now then we'll be able to, to deal with it early okay you're heading over here that's fine you head over here too Oh, must be close. 28th, 23rd. Oh, you're flipping around and you're going to Vladimir. I don't want to chase for too long, right? Like, that's a disaster waiting to happen. Taking out alone? Sudal. Go there. We'll intercept them at Sudal. Rostov. Go to Rostov. Now, where are the 23k Ottoman troops? Or the 16k Ottoman troops? They're just down there. That's fine. Absolutely okay with that. We are surrounding them. We are coming in to contention. So, he is going to move into Sudal over the next wee while. So, let's hold off a little bit. Wait until you're directly in Sudal. Okay. And if I move now, we'll create a fight. You go there. You go there. And you go there. This is really dangerous, but I just want to catch this guy before he gets reinforcements. And also, we're losing a lot of money. This is the... This is the paid mercenary bunch. What? I could have... Why would you... Oh, okay. I mean... What? There was... 
I, I, why would it show that a conflict was happening if there was no conflict? Oh my god, that really, that really, really messes me up. Where are you going? Ugh, god damn it. Just go up here, I guess, then. Sure. S stay there. Sure. Stay there. Yeah, you go over here. And you're on the move again. My god. Fucking fight now. Let's get both of our guys to go in there. 22nd of March. You'll go out of the 22nd. You'll go out of the 27th. Now you'll go out on the 25th. Either way, we're going to be fighting on the 22nd, it looks like. And we're going to be providing reinforcements on the 27th. This is... It's going to be close, but it's going to be very doable. We do have a negative crossing penalty, which I dispute that... I don't think it was ever there, but whatever. It was an uprising, and that was a victory. That was a victory of the battle. War enthusiasm is at medium. We are at low. But let me tell you... This is, this is, this is us fighting back. We are fighting back right now. Your war exhaustion is high. You're gosh darn right it's high. Uh, there was also a little bit of an uprising somewhere, which I... Is that it? Is that the uprising? Like, the southern half of Circassia? Honestly, if, if you guys emerge into something, then that's probably quite nice. Uh, I'm gonna group you up. I'm gonna get rid of the mercenaries. I'm gonna send the mercenaries down here. And then the remainder, I'm gonna split up into two groups. And we're gonna heal up and chill a little bit. Where did the mercenaries go? We're going to try and follow these guys to the best of our ability with the mercenaries. And also the cannon, which I think is also a mercenary. Does need to catch up a little bit, though. Yeah, you need to split up and go over there. You guys can come down over here. We'll unsiege a little bit of stuff. Okay, you go over there. You go over there. Oh, good. No, nope. go there, then there. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Where are you retreating to? I don't actually know. So you are the mercenaries, and we will continue to get reinforcements for you. So let's send you guys over here. You can chill out a little bit. All right. We're in a dodgy position, but we're in a good position. And ladies and gents, I think we're going to leave it there. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Albert Potato. This has been EU4, and I will see you next time. Bye.